Hi everyone, welcome back to the Scottish Cowboys Darts channel. Today we're going to be doing a Target product that I bought from premierdarts.co.uk and this of course is their Dart of the Month, it's the Target Sync range. I'm going to be reviewing the O2 in steel tip, 24 grams. So let's get them over the table, do the close up, get them on at the board, do the score section, do the recap and the ratings. Before we open the box and crack on with the review, I'm going to tell you what these are available in. These are available in 01 and 22 grams, 23 grams and 24 grams. They're available in 02, the version that I'll be reviewing. They come in 23 grams, 24 grams, 25 grams. And they're also available in 03 and 21 grams, 22 grams and 23 grams. And they are all steel tip versions. They also come in soft tip in version 10 and 18 grams and 20 grams. Version 11 is in 19 grams and 21 grams. And they are 26 pounds and 95 pence throughout the range at the moment from Premier Darts. These are Premier Darts Dart of the Month and they're going to stay at that price, I believe, until they run out of stock. So once they're gone, they're gone. They won't be back at £26.95. So let's have a little close-up look at the box. As you can see, you've got on it a little Target logo, the SP for the Swiss points, and at £26.95 to get a Swiss point dart is actually really good. You've got the uh, O2 model, steel tip, 24 grams and also telling you that it's 80% tungsten. You've got the little sink logo and on the front you've got the fake window showing you different bits of the, the Swiss point, the barrel, the flight, the stem and then the target logo. On the side you've got model O2 and sink. On the other side you've got a target logo. On the bottom it just tells you Warning, children should be supervised while playing darts. Tells you where they're made, all the details of target sports, where they're based, different languages. And on the back, on the back it tells you what's in the box. Tells you you've got three sink 80% barrels, three pro grip shafts, three pro ultra flights, which are number six flights, three Swiss 26mm points, one Swiss point tool, and the target wallet so there you go guys let's open them up and have a look but also must tell you you've got your guarantee lifetime guarantee for the barrels from target you just register them at targetdarts.co.uk you register your barrel if anything goes wrong with your barrel you'll get it replaced so let's open them up have a look So that's how they come out of the box. As it's the 80% that you don't get the foam insert, you get the plastic insert. It still holds the darts fairly securely. Flights, spiral point, a uh, Swiss point tool. If you lift that up, underneath it you will find your target wallet. Handy little wallet for going to your darts. Inside the wallet will be your little flyer different target products on it but on the back of this will be your guarantee now it's telling you the darts will be plus or minus 0 0.05 now if you get a 90% tungsten or a 95% tungsten you'll get a weight in there but they don't put it in on the 80% but they still try and match each dart each barrel to 0 0.05 in a set so put that to the side Take the darts out. So, firstly, we'll take one barrel out. Put the other ones to the side. Remove the flights. We'll look at them in a minute. And what I'll do is, for those people who's not had Swiss point darts before, as you can see, that's the point. On this bit of the point, you'll see a bit of hex. This is your little tool. As you can see, there's a hole right through it, but it's got a hex key. 
all you do is thread it into the dart, quick turn, point is out, and that is it. You want to replace your darts, replace your points, they get blunt, they get broken, you want to change them for longer when you're at a match, that's it, done. It takes seconds to change points on a Swiss point. Massive difference. So let's have a look at the dart from the front to the rear. The front is a 26mm standard Swiss point. You've got a very long tapered front of the nose with very flat straight cut grooves as you can see. Nice machining. Now that tapers up to a micro ring groove. As you can see it there. It's quite a flat micro ring groove, but it's got a really good grip on it. Then you've got three grooves, just decent little depth radial grooves with red paint on them, just to give it a little bit of facade. But then you come onto the grey PVD coated part of the barrel, which is very intricate. It's got double barreled grooves in it, very fine grooves at the start. Then you've got wider grooves with a twin groove. So you've got your groove and you've got your groove, but in between you've got a micro groove in there, in each one, which gives you that extra bit of grip. So rear grippers are going to have a good grip with this dart. It's really good. Front grippers, you've also got a good grip, which will suit me because I like front grip and also mid grippers have got a really good grip the only bit of this barrel that's not got a grip is right at the very back which even if you're a rear gripper you're still getting a good grip all the way up this barrel pro grip shaft matched up as usual freaks me out little target logo etched on the barrel so these are under 27 pounds and if you look at the machine and that there is a lot of work done it yes it's all just grooves but you've got grooves you've got flat grooves you've got micro grooves you've got wider grooves it's a nice looking dart it's nice you've got the polished tungsten at the front with the grey pvd coating at the rear so let's take the stem off and get some measurements on this. Now this is obviously the short stem, so we'll measure the stem first. Now this comes, as I said, with a short stem. And that is measuring 33 and a half millimetres. So it's not a very long stem, definitely short. So let's take the barrel. Firstly, we know the point's 26 millimetres, but we always measure it anyway. So 26 millimetre standard point, 25.85, perfect. Length of the barrel, the barrel length is coming in at 52.953, 53, 53 mm. Diameter at the widest point is 7mm. Now, you've got this tapered bit at the front of the barrel. And I'm going to try and measure it as best I can. I'm going to take a rough guess and that taper is about 15mm long. Taper from the nose up. And then you've got a slight taper at the rear. But that could be optical illusion for Sitma. Tool on it. It, is, it's, it doesn't taper, it's just straight. But it looks like it's tapering, but it's just because of the way the machine, the grooves are machined. So it's a straight barrel all the way back from that 15 millimeters. As you can see, seven millimeters, seven millimeters. And then it'll taper towards the stem. And if you look in and see the machining, very clean thread, no rags, no burrs, it's just a nice thread. 
So guys, that's the barrel. All it's left to do now is wait. Check what the weight is they threw them, but I'm looking forward to throwing these. These are nice looking. I've had these a couple of weeks and I've not took them out of the box because I don't like to take them out before reviewing them because I like to get the initial surprise as well. I don't want to prejudge anything. So what we'll do is we'll stick the scales on. Move the camera a little bit closer. No editing here, all live. So here we go. First start, 24.05. And as normal, I forgot to strip the other two darts. Amateur. I need an assistant. So 24.05. Twenty four point one two, and twenty four point zero eight. So what you would do is you would take that twenty four point zero eight as your middle dart, which would allow you plus or minus point five. So you can go from twenty four point zero three to twenty four point one three. So they're all in tolerance. So it's all good for me. So all that's left to do now, guys, is to build these darts up. Get them over to the board, do the score there section, and take it from there. Darts in the hand are feeling quite comfortable. That little taper at the front of the barrel is going to take a little bit of getting used to, because I grip right on the front, but there you go, two darts released very well. Last dart slides into the 5, you start with a 45. Getting used to these darts will take a few throws, but I think I could I could start to play with these darts. I like them. I like the way they're going into the board. And I'm not too disappointed behind a treble 5, because you know you're in the right area of the treble 20. Uh, a 40. One more th throw on the 20s, guys, then I'll go to the 19s and do the bull. I'll stick a bit of music on, go through the school of challenge, then do the recap and the ratings. But these darts do feel good, they go through the air nice, and there you go, nice little treble 20 to finish up with a 98.
let's recap on the target sink that sign. As you can see, I really liked them. They, th they weren't the best I've played on the board. It wasn't the best score I've got in the school there. But for £26.95, that's an absolute steal of a dart. To get a dart at £26.95 with Swiss points, people are going to say, but it's 80% tungsten. The 80% tungsten is just the content of the, the material. It doesn't really matter to me. It could be as long as it's a nice dart and it throws well. That's all I really bother about. So, grip rating. Front of the grip is going to be a three. Very, very good grip on the front. Very easy to release. The middle grip is a three. Also get good grip in the middle. And the rear is a three and a half. It's just slightly more grippy at the rear. So if you're a rear gripper, you're going to get the best of the grip. But as I said, I'm a front gripper and I really like to grip it. Sometimes if you go above the three to maybe four, four and a half, it's just too aggressive and it just, you get a bit of resistance coming out of your hand. But that, that it came out of my hand very well. Value for money. You will not be surprised to say this is a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, 26 pounds, 95 pence. Swiss point, beautiful barrel, beautiful looking dart. Good quality, lifetime guarantee with a 26 pounds, 95 pence dart. Can't go wrong. As an overall, an RVB scale, it's not going to be up at the top. It's not going to be anywhere near up at the top. It's a seven. Superb result for a dart this with this price, but it's just not got the balance where I want it to be for the RVB. And this is just on my preferences. I'm basing this on how good I think the dart is compared to the RVBs. So this is a seven out of 10. Now, as I said, this is available from Premier Darts. I'll leave a link in the description where you can go and purchase it. It's £26.95. Also, if you sign up to the loyalty scheme with Premier Darts, you get points for everything you spend. You get to redeem their points on darts cases, whatever you want, or you can put them towards darts. You can do whatever you want. You can get £10 or £5 off. Just the more you collect, the more you, you, you save. So, guys... Thank you very much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment. Let me know you're watching it. And I'll catch you on the next review.